Doing great. And joining us this week on the show is Dr. Mark Wooten, a DVM. Uh, and he is joining us here all the way from just on the outskirts of Nashville, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. I almost said Nashville, Kentucky for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. And um, so we're going to talk about um, the vet the farrier's effect on the nervous system. Now, on last week's show, we had Taryn Smedley. Right. And she's a body worker. And so she goes in and, and she was talking about opening doors and closing doors and, and working with the essentially the nervous system and the muscle system and all the tissue and stuff. So when we talk about a farrier's effect on the nervous system, technically you don't really think about that. You think of more of the joints and the bones and stuff. Uh, Mark, what do you, what do we mean by the farrier's effectiveness on the nervous system of a horse? Just what you said about the joints, that is critical. What the, and, and, and I'm sure Mike tested this, the, the alignment of those joints, the proprioception that is being sent to the nervous system uh, by the alignment of the joints is critical. It, 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 uh, there's so much information coming from the joints to the brain, to the sensory cortex, as far as knowing where the body is, is it, critical. And, and since I've been practicing the AK, it has uh, really become apparent to me as doing muscle testing and that sort of thing of how much we can change the, uh, uh, the, 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 the workings of the nervous system, uh, how, how, put, taking muscles and putting them into spasm simply by not having proper alignment and that sort of thing. It's really been, it's really been eye-opening to me. Uh, Danny, who I work with, he, uh, he's, he's extremely good at, at, at recognizing these issues as far as alignment and what it can affect the proprioception. Uh, another, uh, condition that I see an awful lot of an ex incredible uh, influence on the nervous system is uh, uh, at one of Dr. Redden's meetings years ago, there was a farrier from uh, England named uh, Ernie Bailey. And Ernie described a condition called oblique knee syndrome. And uh, he was primarily talking about just the way the, the conformation of the knees, the carpus that they were turned out and it caused the, the, the horses to be very locked up. Uh, the foot grow, would grow in a very unusual position. And, and, and he primarily talked about what the effects that it had on the foot, that uh, these horses often had severely sheared heels, they had collapsed medial walls and that sort of thing. 